doing short, awesome update video. Uh, first, let me start by saying dog drama is over. She paid. It's over. Oh, I feel so good. No longer have to worry about this lady and the dog and the dog coming back and then this and this and that or being robbed. And it's just, oh, it feels so good to finally have the situation over with. I can enjoy my new babies and everything. It just be whew, really good. Uh, I also wanted to say a quick thank you to you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. I've been getting so much support and so many awesome comments. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, it's just made my day every day. I'm still not used to being treated like this. And part of me is waiting for the big hammer to fall and realize that everybody's still hating on me. But it hasn't happened. And I'm going to enjoy it while it's like this. And I just wanted to say thank you. Now, for my big announcement. After almost five years... I got an email yesterday, and it was from CJ, and at first I didn't believe that it was him because the writing seemed really different, very lucid, very literate, and aside from the way he spelled your, Y, R, it wasn't really his writing, it didn't seem like it, and I was like, oh, this is starting up again, because actually earlier in the day I'd gotten an email from or messages, comments that you can probably see on my page or my channel or whatever from an ex-girlfriend of his begging me for help because he's been trying to reach her or whatever. And she's just like, no, no, help me. What do I do? And I'm like, I really don't want to get involved in this drama again. I just, I want to be able, I want to help her because I, I could never turn down somebody that needs advice or help. But if it's a troll or just a shit stirring, I really don't want to be dragged into it. So I was quite unhappy and torn as to what to do. Well, I got the email today and then after a couple of emails and then talking with somebody else who I don't know if they want to be named or not, so I'm not going to name them, but if I've talked to you about it, one person only, you know who you are and you helped, of course, make this decision for me, make me understand. Turns out it was him because he had mentioned to somebody that he was going to write me and apologize. And he was also writing his ex-girlfriend in order to apologize. It's all he was doing. And once I realized it was him, I was like... You know, I didn't go into a big, long email. I, I kept it short. And I said, well, you know, you have been told that I said these things about your baby that he lost a long time ago. That was not me. He's still holding a grudge because of that. And I keep telling him that was not me. I don't know if he believes me or not, but it's only right that he takes my word for it because I've taken his word for it when he has said that the bullying and trolling coming from somebody in the UK, the one who I talked about in my Why I Still Hate CJ video, um, he says he has nothing to do with that. So I have to take his word on it that that was not because of him or whatever. And so I would really like it if he were to take my word for it that I did not say those nasty things about his deceased child. Um, aside from that, he apologized. And... I didn't chase him down. I didn't even know this email address existed. I didn't ask for it. I didn't instigate this. He came to me, said he never thought he would write me again, but he did, and he wanted to let me know that he was really sorry. Apparently, he's trying to fix his life. He's trying to be a better person. He's trying to not necessarily right the wrongs that he's done, but at least admit to them and go to the people that he's hurt and say sorry and do the right thing. And after all this time, honestly, like, I would have loved him to pay me back for the ticket. But I knew that that was a very, very small chance. Aside from that, realistically, all I've really wanted from him is to know that he knows that what he did was wrong. It's not my fault. Stop blaming me. I didn't do anything wrong except for trust in him. And to say sorry and to actually mean it or to make me think that he means it. That's all I've wanted. And some of you guys might not agree with that. You might say, well, what he's done surely outweighs an apology. But in my head, it doesn't because what he did, yeah, it was fucked up. It was really bad. But like I said, if he hadn't done that to me, who knows? I Would, would I have gotten a boyfriend here? Would I have gone back to my ex-husband? I, I don't know what would have happened. But the way that it worked out, I met Logan. And we've been together over four years now. And... I'm happy. And so this had to happen in this way for me to be where I am today. And so while I hate what he put me through, my closure was an apology. And I got that today. And I feel like this great weight has been lifted off my chest. Like I just feel 
like a balloon that somebody's blown up and I'm just like floating away. I know balloons don't float unless they have helium in them, but still, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just this blanket of hatred and anger that I've been carrying around for almost five years is finally gone just from a simple email saying, I'm sorry for the hurt that I put you through. And I'm sorry that I messed up in the past. And I'm just like, wow, I never thought this day would ever come. And it has. And like, I almost feel in tears here. I'm so, I just can't explain to you how good it feels to finally be able to let that go. And it's been such a long time coming. Now I'm going to leave my videos about him up only for the fact that I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying that like as with Emily's video that our stories have helped them with their relationships, boyfriends and all that. And I like being able to help people. However, I will um, disable comments on the videos because if I keep the comments enabled, people will still talk to me about it and it's either I ignore them, which is also rude, or I talk shit about him, which I promised I wouldn't do. So the comments will be um, disabled and I'll add a link to this video so you can see why and I'll make a little mention that I've gotten my apology and uh, yeah but aside from that I'm I'm perfectly happy to let this go now and to move on I've told him he can make his profiles online now he can do what he wants to do he doesn't have to hide away because I'm not gonna hurt him I'm not gonna stalk him I'm not gonna go after him it's over you know if in the future he wants to be on a friendly basis with me I'll even be on a friendly basis with him. I mean, I'm friends with Emily now and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's like, just sometimes to take a step back and say, wow, look how far we've come. That's what life's all about. You know, being able to get over yourself, get over petty shit, shit that just shouldn't even be an issue and to be able to move on. And that's, that's where I'm at. And it happened with her and now it's finally, finally happened with him. And I have the closure that I've been wanting for so long and I'm just so happy. Everything is just fallen into place and I am over the moon. I can't even begin to tell you guys. Um, thanks for all your support on the videos and stuff and um, your understanding. And I'm really glad that some of you got help with your relationships or your decisions or just feeling like it's not your fault for whatever situation you're in. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes the other person is the one who makes a mistake. And if you do everything you can to do the right thing, love them. Sometimes it's love is not enough, not unless it's from both parties and both parties have equal respect for each other. And if you don't have that, then basically you can and probably will become a doormat for them. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. If you fall in love with someone, we fall in love with the wrong people all the time. You won't know the right person until you go through all the wrong people. And in the end, you have every right to find your happy ending. And hopefully if you guys are in a position like I am, hopefully you'll have closure like I just got because I tell you closure is the best feeling in the world and I'm going to be floating on a high from this for quite some time. And it's funny because before I got the message from his ex and even before I got the email from him, I took a nap earlier today and I had a dream about him. I was, I was in the UK and I was on the bus and he got on the bus and he knew I was there to talk to him and he was like, he was all gothed out, but he had short hair and no makeup on, just piercings and like a black fishnet shirt and black pants, like trip pants kind of. And he's like scowling at me. And I said, no, you need to sit down with me and you need to talk to me. And he's like, oh, blah, 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 and just try to talk shit. And then he, he called me. I don't remember anything else about it except that he didn't want to apologize. And I was trying to get him to say sorry. And he called me fat. And I said, you can't call me fat anymore. I'm not fat anymore. Um, I was 105 kilos, so you could have called me fat back then. And then everybody on the bus looked at me and I said, now I'm like 73 kilos and everybody went, oh! like everybody on the bus and they all looked at me and it was all fat people <laughs> and they looked at me and they were like, wanted to know what my secret was and how I lost weight. And so the dream turned into me trying to talk to him alone on this bus while I had like a bus full of people swarming me saying, how did you lose weight? What did you do? And I was like, well, I had surgery and, um, 
I'll talk about it later. This is kind of important. And they're just like, oh, but it was like a collective bus full of, oh, you used to be that big. And it was just so funny. Like, I don't even know what the hell. And then I woke up and then I looked in my Facebook and I had this message from her. And then I checked my email and it said Carl with an explanation mark. And I was like, oh God, what is this about? And it took me a while to actually realize that it was, it was him or it was somebody pretending to be him, which turned out to be him. And, um, yeah, the day just went up from there, but I just thought it was really weird because I had literally just had a dream about him and, um, yeah. And then this happened and, oh, I just really wanted to share it with you guys because you guys have, you know, most of my views and subscribers have come from that video about him. And so, um, it's only fair to update you all. So y'all, <laughs> so I did that and, um, I'm going to go now. I have this video and another one to upload. And in the coming days, you are going to see probably a good number of uploads coming, but they're all going to be into my re-upload folder. They're going to be old videos, which you'll be able to tell because my piercing, I won't have these and I won't have this for most of them. My hair won't be like this and I'll be twice the size. But, um, I have some old videos that I never re-uploaded here that I thought I made pretty good points on, like when I was talking about bullying stuff or how to get through bullying or just other things in general. I'm not too sure. I know the bullying one for one is definitely one that I do want to upload again. And if you see these, the only reason they're going up is just because I found my folder of videos and I scrolled through a few of them and I thought I made some pretty good points that now that I actually have subscribers again, you guys might want to watch or it might help somebody or it's always about helping somebody or you know something like that um i do want to make some videos more towards being bullied as an adult because a lot of people police included don't take cyberbullying seriously if you're a grown up and it kind of sucks because just because you're an adult doesn't mean it's okay to bully you whether it's over something you've done or they think you've done or the way you look or an an ex and they get involved. Uh, it's not okay. And just because you're an adult doesn't mean you're not vulnerable. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Doesn't mean you're not in danger of killing yourself or hurting yourself over it. And I think more people need to speak out about being bullied as an adult because it's not right. And it does happen. And kids aren't the only vulnerable ones. Adults tend to be online quite a bit. And, you know, it just, they're not taken seriously. So adults have got no outlet really when it comes to being bullied. You go to the cops and they just laugh at you like, oh, well, you're old enough to know better. You don't like it. Get offline. Adults work online. Adults get in touch with their family and, you know, important people in their lives online. And adults are quite easy to get to because a lot of people my age and older, um, mostly older, don't really know how to handle themselves online. And they don't know how to hide their friends. They don't know how to hide their information and they're prime targets for people who just want to cause trouble and it happens and it sucks. And, uh, I just want to be able to help whoever I can. And so, yeah, <sighs> I will see you guys soon, whether it be old videos or new videos. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, CJ, if you're watching this, thank you for saying, sorry, you just, don't know how much it really means after all this time. It's all I've wanted. Like I've said, I wasn't to blame. Maybe you weren't if you're having mental problems, but with everything that happened afterwards, I did carry all of the blame and all of the abuse and all of your friends and my friends turning against me. And I haven't had a single day of freedom from the thoughts of everything I went through in that situation. Everything, a song, smell of the air at night, looking at the moon, everything reminds me that you should have been here. This is stuff I was going to show you around town. This is a song I was listening to when we were together and we were talking about things. I mean, carrying all these memories with me because in my head, there's no past, there's no present, there's no past, there's no future. Everything is present. And I remember and keep everything fresh. And, you know, I go to drink a cup of coffee. Oh, CJ loved coffee. Do you remember? And it just leads down the whole path of of hate and I can't stop it. I haven't been able to stop it. And so the past four something years have been really hard on me. No matter how much I tried to get over it, I couldn't. And now I finally have my chance and it's like one of the greatest gifts I could have gotten. And, um, yeah.
So I'll see you guys shortly. I thought this video was going to be three minutes long. I should have known myself better. I just can't stop talking. Um, sorry, and I'll see you guys. Take care, and I hope you guys have a great day, as good of a day as I've had today.